Hello Tubers, it's TL here, and since I've been inundated with comments from people asking how I get this overlay on the bottom, you're seeing on the bottom of your screen, in my Pirate Disco flight videos, I figured I'd show, I'd make a tutorial video showing you guys how exactly I, I <laughs> pull this off. So, before you begin, there's a couple of things you want to make sure that you have. Number one is you want to make sure you have a Pirate Cloud account, otherwise you can't download the flight data onto your computer and two which kind of goes without saying you want to make sure you have a parrot drone which sorry for stating the obvious but i just had to because i'm not sh i don't want to mislead any dgi people and the thing is going to work for them too i'm sure this way is how but i don't have a dgi drone so i can't i don't can't, i can't really comment on that unfortunately so uh, so what you want what you want to make sure that you have is well, like I said before, flat data manager. So I'm gonna have this link down in the description for you guys to download if you don't already have it. This so this also works with the Bebop, both variety of the Bebop drones. So if you have those, this is gonna work for you as well. So what this does is it allows you to download your flight data from your Parrot Cloud account onto your computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load it up now. And uh so the first thing you want to click once you've downloaded it and signed into your Parrot Cloud account is load data from Parrot Cloud on top right here. So once you've once you click that, you'll see all the flights, all of your all of your disco and bebop flights will appear on screen. So the one I'm going to pick is this one here, just as an example, and let it load. There we are. So I I, I normally pick airspeed and so the, the ones I normally pick are altitude, speed, airspeed, battery, distance, distance flown, and the Wi-Fi level. But you can pick up to seven of these of your choosing. So that's my that's the seven I normally pick. So once you've picked your seven or less graphs that you want to show, you want to click export data to files, and then select your desired folder. So I'm just going to select this folder here, which is where, where I keep all my disco videos. So. And you can also view a KML file on Google Earth, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to click no. And uh, sometimes, um, I'm not sure if I'm the only person, but uh, minimize OBS yes here, is uh, sometimes the uh, the editing software you need Garmin Verb Edit, which I'll also have linked down below, uh, this guy here. So I'll, I'll have that linked down in the description for you too. Uh, sometimes it doesn't like the doesn't like the uh, video files just straight off the disco so you might you want to encode those once um once you do so i'll, I'll have another tool for this uh link down below called handbrake is what i use to encode them so it so they work with um you know the garmin verb software so what you want to do is you want to find your find the video you want to use from from your collection i'm going to use pick that one and then just put all your um, all your settings in. So I'm just no anthropomorphic, uh, constant frame rate, and encode. I'm just select slow, and then a uh, constant quality ten, and then start the encode. Now, once you've um, once you've found your footage and encoded it, what you want to do is you want to go into uh, Verb Edit and uh, find. Well, I say that once you've uh, so once you've uh, encoded your videos, you want to go to uh, Garmin Verb and then click Import Other. We've got the encoded versions here, which should hopefully work. Uh, I'll upload it later, and then uh, let it optimize. I should have selected both, but again, I forgot to. So just, uh, actually, I'll just. That's important, but it's faster, so import these two guys and then let those um, and let them optimize. And if it, um, if you can do this without encoding, you can skip encoding and just move straight onto this. So, I mean, encoding is only needed if the uh, the videos don't work in Garmin Verb. Encode them in Handbrake, and they'll work. And also do it do it one by one, otherwise the second the second clip or any any clips after the first one won't work. I'm not sure why, but there we go. 
So let's let that uh, optimize about 56, 50-60% through now. Because uh, op optimization works, because it, it just makes sure your video is um, going to run smoothly and everything once you export it. Which we'll, uh, which we'll get to once it's exported. And then... Right, 95. Update later. I just got to to make. And once it's optimized, we're OK. And grab your first clip and drag it onto there to add them. And so this is now for the now for the fun bit, actually adding the overlay. So what you want to do is you want to click this button here, G metrics, and then go to import G metrics, and then click on my computer on the left there, and then click browse. Then you want to find the then you want to find the, um, the file that you ex that you import that you, the files you exported in a uh, flight data manager. I I think was uh, it was these. I'll sort by date to make sure I don't import the wrong one. Here we go. So you want to import this one, and then once you found the once you found the desired log, click use this log. And uh, also uh, within in a in flight data manager, if you haven't already, click install Garmin Verb GPS templates designed for Parrot Bebop. It'll install the disco ones as well, so, so so don't panic about that. So click that if you haven't already, and it'll install the templates which you use here. Now these are the overlays, and in my in my videos I use let's see like because I find the damn overlay here. So I use disco ten in my videos, but you can pick from any of these. Any of these ten will work. And also um, feet and meters are available depending on your preference, which I. Also, forgot to mention when you're uh, when you're selecting which one you want to use, just select either either the feet or meters dot fit file upon upon importing G metric. So now you've imported Disco, selected Disco Ten, and it's uh, hmm, don't want to work for some reason. So I'm pulling it again, make sure we didn't screw it up. I'm gonna try again, import GMAT. Just gonna try importing the GMAT again, make sure I didn't screw it up. Browse. Uh, so I just wanna make sure I didn't import the wrong one here. So yeah, you want the, the you want the dot fit file, not the GPX. That's where I screwed up. Uh, I think I imported the GPX by accident, so use that. Yes, use that log. There we go. So you want to pick the dot fit file, not the GPX. So, so with that, that is your overlays, your your overlay in. Now for longer flights, as you probably, for those who own a disco, can vouch for this. Every 17 minutes, it splits the splits the clip, which is why I have two here. Now, so. For the, so for this, for the second clip, the process is the exact same. So you go to, you click that button there, import geometrics, and then click the, then you can click it here. Since, since you've already imported it, you don't need to, um, you don't need to import it again since you already have. So click use that log. And then what you want to do is you want to go to geometric sync, because as you can see, it thinks it's the beginning of the clip, which is the beginning of the flight, but it's not. So you want to find, so you want to find the point where it starts, and then click G metric sync. Then it'll tell you to pick a frame rate that you can find on the map, which I can find. So I'm just going to pick the beginning of the video, and then here, find the location on the map. You want to pay attention to this here. This is the uh, the length, the video length. You want to find 17 minutes and 46 seconds. So I'm going to find that now. 1735, 7, 8, 9, 1743, 45, 46. There we go. And then click done. And now once you've done that, it will um your data will be accurate on the second and every sub and the, 
it's repeated for every subsequent clip. So that's how you get the uh, how you get the overlay in. You want to just want to click export and uh, 1080p 30fps max and select your folder. Click export and then uh, once it's exported, it'll be ready to, ready to be dropped into your editing software of choice or uploaded straight up. And that 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 is going to conclude this tutorial on how to add your GPS overlay to your Pirate Disco or Bebop videos. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. Leave a like if it helped. Dislike if it didn't. I've been TIL. I'm out. See ya. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more content and to join my notification squad by clicking the bell icon. Also, check out my socials for the latest updates. You can also watch my previous video by clicking on the screen. And uh, be sure to show my sponsors some love by checking out the links and discount codes down below. And enjoy the rest of your day.